Just got to be introduced, that's all. <laughs> You're paying too much attention to everything around you, not enough attention to this one. But the quality of your life is essentially determined by how you carry this one. Yes or no? This moment, what kind of clothes you're wearing, what kind of car you parked outside, what kind of home you live in does not determine the quality of your life. This moment, how joyful are you feeling within yourself determines the quality of your life, isn't it so? Nothing has been done about it. You think it'll happen in consequence and you're setting impossible goals for your happiness. If I have to be happy, my wife should be like this, my hus husband should be like that, my children should be like this, the world should become some other way. Well, these are impossible conditions you're setting for your happiness and peacefulness. Now that you have compromised yourself to peace, why I'm saying compromise yourself to peace is because a lot of people have given up aspirations for being ecstatic or blissful. If I'm just peaceful, it's enough. Even the so-called spiritual leaders are going about and saying peace is the highest goal in your life. Peace is not the highest goal in your life. If you want to enjoy your lunch today, you must be peaceful, yes or no? If you're not even peaceful, there is nothing in your life that you can do in a worthwhile way. To be peaceful essentially means this, that you're not messing your mind. To be peaceful means that your system is at ease. You know how to conduct your mind, you know how to conduct your emotions, your body and your energies, you are peaceful. It is not a rocket technology, it is the most basic thing. You have a dog at home, you give him his food, he sits peacefully. Maybe not ecstatic, but peacefully. Many times they're ecstatic also. Yes? If your dog is able to sit peacefully, oh, he doesn't have to run my industry. That's not the point, he's got his own stuff going. <laughs> See, it has nothing to do with the external activity that you're doing. It's got something to do with the internal systems as to how they're functioning. Essentially, it means either neither your body, nor your mind, nor your chemistry, nor your emotions, nor your energy, are taking instructions from you, they're doing their own thing. Once your machine is not in your control, being peaceful is impossible. I'll tell you, you get into your car and now you go there and you want to turn this way, you do this to the steering, it goes this way. Can you peacefully drive this car? Can you? No. Anxiety is natural, isn't it? This is what has happened to your vehicle, it's out of control. You've never done anything to find out where the steering wheel is, first of all. This is not that simple as a car, this is a super, super computer. Now the problem is most people have not even bothered to find the keyboard. They think if they do this, somehow it'll work. <laughs> if you make… when you're given such a highly sophisticated machine, if you do not conduct it properly, it will cause many problems to you. By accident it's working. I want you to know this, this is made this way. If you hold your hands like this, it'll breathe one way. If you just turn it around, the very way you breathe, the breathing pattern itself changes in your lungs. You can try it if you want when you have the time. This way, this way. I'm saying everything that you do, fundamental changes are happening in this machine because it's such a sophisticated machine. It's more than a touch screen, if you just wish it, it will happen. When you have such a sensitive and sophisticated machine and you are operating like a blacksmith, <laughs> then being peaceful seems to be difficult. Peace is not the highest goal in your life, it is the most fundamental requirement. Don't ever set peace as the highest goal. If you do that, you will only rest in peace <laughs> You must see, to be peaceful is the first thing in your life, isn't it? If you want to do anything sensibly in your life, if you want to do… conduct any situation in your life sensibly, to be peaceful and happy is fundamental. Such a fundamental thing is rising to heavens these days. People think they're going to be peaceful somewhere else, not here, because you have never paid attention to this machine. 
never paid attention to the internal mechanism of how a human being functions, what is the basis of everything that's happening within you, it takes a little bit of attention. That's why our basic program is called as inner engineering. We have engineered the whole world the way we want it. Much comfort and convenience has come, but well-being has not come, isn't it? Because well-being will not come. Well-being will come only when this is engineered the way you want it, only then you will know well-being.